አንቲ መታሐሳሰቢት ድብላ ነገር አላ ፓስተር አይ ዶንት ኖ ምን ነገር ወይ ቀድሜ ቀድም 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 ከበለን ጸኒሑ አታ ፓስተር ተጣው እንደብሎ ነው እንደ ሂዘ መጽየ ክብል ጸኒሐ እሞ ግን ክዛሮ ባይት ክብሎ ዝደለኹ ስም እግዚአብሔር መስገን መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ንመን ይተጻሒፉ guys can you be quiet for now okay thank you መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ንመን ይተጻሒፉ ናይ ናኹም ዝተመር አና ንዝወለደ ትንቢታት ከእን ምን ይተጻሒፉ ናይ ናኹም ተም አድሜና ዘዓበና ትራይድ ዩ ወይስ ንደቅና ኻ ተጻሒፉ ዩ ወይስ ትንቢታት ከ ንደቅና ተነብ ዩ ወይስ ተስፋታት አምላክ ከ ንደቅና አቡሊ ኪዳን ይሁን አብ ሐዲስ ኪዳን ተነግሩ ሎሚ እስከ ቁርብ ተንኪፍና ከንረይና አይ ኖ ፕሮግራም ላይ ደቀና ይግን አና ከሐድ ታቦም ስለዝሆንኩ አይ ነቨር ዲድ ዲስ ለማዓት ይግን ኮም ከገብር ዳይ ፈት አቢሎ ለኹ ስም እግዚአብሔር ተመስገነ ይሆን ወለዲ ንደቆም ከመህሩ ስለዛ አዘዘ እስኪ ጻይ ሐወይ ቀዳም ይተዘላ ዘዳ ግን 30 ክልተን ከ46 ሽድሽተን እስከ 47 ከም በበልና ኢሞ ዘዳግም ሰላሳን ስማዕ ለሁለ እወ ስማዕ ለሐ ዘዳግም ወይ ዘዳግም ሰላሳን ክልተን ከ46 ሽድሽተን ክሳብ 47 ተቃል ከምዚህ ይብል በሎም ድማ እዛ አና ነው ምዝ ምስክለልኩም ዘለኹ ሁሉ ቃላት ንደቅኹም ተጠንቂኩም ከገብርዎ ከትዕዝዝዎ ሁሉ ቃላት እዚህ ህግዚ አብልብ አብልብሁም አምብርዎ እዚ ነገር እዚህ ህወትኩም ይንበር ከንቱ ነገር አይኮነን አብታን ንስኻትኩም ክትወርሰዋ ዮርዳኖስ ተሳገረው አዘለኹም ምድሪ ድማ በዚ ነገር ዝም ባዓተታኩ ተኖሩ ስም እግዚአብሔር ተመስገነ ይሁን ህወትኩም ይው ወለዲ ህወትኩም ይው ንደቅኹም በትዝግባ ትምህርት ክትምህሩዎም እዚ መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ እዚ ንደቅና ከምትዝግባ ጥቅስታት ሂብና ይሁን ከይድና መጽየኦም ጥቅስኩም አጽንዕኩም ወንድ ይሁን ክንብሎም ዘይ ኮነ መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ከምዝግባኦም ንዓኦሙ ከምዝተጻፈ ገርና ክንምህሮም ኮፊልና በተዓባት ጥቅስን እንሰርደፈለና ለትጥቅስቲ ክትገልጹሎም እንታይ ማለት ነው አንድ አይምበር ኦ አጽንዕካ ዲኻ ኢልኩም ሆምወርክ ጥራይ ኮይን ክተረፍ ይብሉ መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ቦ አይኮንን ክርድኡ ዝግበኦም ደቀና መጽሐፍ ቅዱስ ክርድኡ ወዝግበኦም እንታይ ዝብል ዘሎ በዛዕበኦም ንሕና ደገፍት ኾሚና እቶም ቀንድ ግን ህወትኩም ንሱ ይልኩ አፍትኩት ወርሱ ወድኹዱ ቦታ ንሲዩነ አሁን ህወትኩም ደቁኹም እንታይ ነው ወርሶም አብ ምናብነት ጥመጥ ይወስ እንዲህር ኢናሲ ካበይ ድወረስ ካያይሉዎ ተእምነት ተተውረሰ ትውረስያ መምሃራን ንምህሪና ወለድ ግን ተውርሲኹም ተውርሱም ተላልያትኩም ከእምነት ያ ሲሪየስ ኮይና ዛባ ደቀና ትዙሃበና ሆምወርክ ይሁን እቲ ናብ ቸርች ሆነም ጾም ከለና ስርዓት አማጻጻ አበተ ክርስቲያን ክንምህሮም ንጎተት ሲዮም ንበተ ክርስቲያን ክብገስኸለው ከቤ ጌሮም ክብገስኸም ዘሎም ክንምህሮም ይግባና ይሕዋተ ሐድ ሐድ ግዜ በጣም ይዝህዝነካ እስኪ ቼክ ንግበር ዋላ ጉግል ንግበር ነው አብካልኦት በተ ክርስቲያናት ቆልዑት ክወጽኸለው ካ በተ ክርስቲያን መን ራየው በከዳድን ኦም ይሉ ለየው በከዳድን ኦም ካ በተ ክርስቲያን ክወጽኸለው በተ ክርስቲያን ድጸንሑ ቆልዑት ከመሆኑ ትፈልጦም ይኻ አብ ሬስቶራንት ውጽ እንተላልካ ካብዝ ምስከትካ አብ ትክል ካሬስቶራንት እንዲህ ከይትካ ካብ ቸርች ዝመጹ ሰባት ትፈልጦም ይኻ በምንታይ ትፈልጦም ተይልካ ደቆ ማካዳድነኦም ነፍሰ ማካዳድነኦም ትፈልጦም ይኻ ናይ አምላክ ሰባት ዮም አብ በተክርስቲያን ዶዓሊ ማለት እዚም ትብል ይኻ ብኹል ነገር ደቅና ከንጸባርቆ ይግቦም ይግን ንኮተስዮም ክብገስ ኸለው ንበተክርስቲያን ወጽኹም ዘሎ ክፈልጡ ይግቦም ይሕዋተ ምኽንያቱ ኮምኹ ኾውን ይዝምህሮም ዘሎ ዘዳግ ማርባቴ ትሻዓተ አሰርተና በበለይ ፕሊስ ዘዳግ ማርባቴ ትሻዓተ አሰርተን ሓንተስ ተዓይነኻ ዘራዩ ነገር ከይትርሶዖ ብኹሉ ማዓትካት ይወትካ ድማ ካብልብኻ ከይወጽ ይደቅኻን ይደቅደቅኻን ዳ ከተፍልጦም ይርእስኻ ተጠንቀቅ ነፍስኻ 
ولكن يجب ان يكون هناك من 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 كمي غير كاهم تمهرم كنا غير كايمو دقخا نا اشتو هذا دقخا دقخا حيس كايوم نا تم قال لهم زي ولاتكم زال لهم اي لمعاتي البروغرام لا يقول عتيا مالت كتب لهم اجوهم كنت مصيوهم حدا معاتي تجاجينا بانير نازي اخته ولا معاتي كنت ولديهم مصيوهم اتم وليدكم زكلكم كا ابزا قلت بلا لا اني كنكم دوم دلو دق دق خمون حلافنتكم يوم دقهم تديم صاحم دق دقهم حيسكم كنت مصيوهم حلاف النتكم يوم صغيلي كنا نقولها نحدد رأي ولا دون عقوم رأي كنا نسوي عاد حين تطوق بنزد الأملاخ يدل يوم يوم ندكنا إخامي هير كم تين ندكنا كم تين على الدليلنا ندكنا ونيدل يوم يوم زداقن سلست كل التسكن ببلي زداقن سلاس كل التعمس لين تلقى جي كم زلومي أنا زكاة الله كله بسخان دكخان بخلو لبخان بخلو نفسخان نارو زابير عملا كان تتملسك قالوا دما أنت سمعك شعوك زابير عملا كام كخاي ملس يدين قصل كها كابتا كابتم نباتاتهم فحب يلو كازنا برا كله مزوتات كا زابير عملا كام ملسو كبكا إيو آمين نامك زابير عملا كان تتملسك كان عقد رجيز من دلو دكخان كلاي نفوت وقت قصلة، أبى زداق من السون. تهان إذا أبيهر نتخذ وقت صباح نقوله كم لوسيوم. إذا أبيهر كم مجمع رأك كم لوسي دك نازل اليوم زلنا. كم تني إحنا قويت هذا قبل نازل تملسنا دك أنا خاب مسانا خوي نبت ماهيرم كم لوسو كم مقدوم يزد اليوم زلنا أملاه. ده رأي كيدوم تفيهم كم لوسنا ده يكونوا حجي مسانا خلوس. مدحانم كفلت وكم الله سيز دليم زل الأملاخ نعنا تريها كنا نسويه ندك أنا وني دليم يوم دك أنا دك دك أنا يدلي يسمع زابير تمسكنا يكون أنا وليد كيلا وران تفكو أنا قد دك دك أي أكن مي هلو من تسمع زابير تمسكنا يكون بفل لايك آه حنت ترسل لنا كم الله أب ما تيو سمسكنا قل عنا بين عيه لوم يوم ثم دك مزامر تخاصو بيقومهم زي أكل عليهن على قول عنا عنا بعيد ومي من عون بتكرستيان لم تأيهم بتكرستيان لم تأت رأي كنن قول عنا عنا بعيد لزبل عنا 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 بعيد كات حيس كيوم لم تأي كنن كأو حليفي وغيثاز جليم سكيم ما تي مزمر داود كلته مزمر داود شو من تقلته يوم ببلي أنت تقاوم تخا لا تسأل عن فدائحنا نسق تبلغ قباف قول عم تتبون حيلي أدالها كب أف قول عم تتبون أنت أدال خيلو حيل أدالها جعان يوم أكن من أدلو حيل حزو كوتو زقب أم قول عتي ما أكن من أدلو بس ماتيوس إسان حدن أسرت حمشنا أسرت حمشنا أنا وبحجي بدحرين هذا السبق سباقه أنت اللي أنت أقوين أيق ولي اللي يجن ما نختكم على لبس نزل لنا هم على لفي زي أخنا هنا after all this is our platform. لقاء أنت كهنا أنت حفتنا تزجبروتها أمرات قلعونا بيت المقدس أولهم وسأنا عن ود داويد كبلون مصر أيو تنادى دموع زي أتوم تقولوا سوم عدو الله هذا الوا يسوس كا هو كباف قول عن صناعتن مزجانا أدالها زبلسي وقادو أيام بكمن بلوم اسمك زاريار تمسجني يا خن بتعمل كائنات دفارات نقولي تاكو تقولوا ده لو دمرت فلت على خايها ساعات من كون نقص نوت يوم زنقر زلو هو سانا زبل زلو كون نقص نوت يوم زنقر دلو تقولوا ده لو دمرت فلت على خايها نقولي خاف كائم زبل خادر لو وقالت كبرين لامي 
نقول كي خادو لو خادو لو تبلوس استوعيت قالو دال خاف كاين زغلو دالو اي تصحف اي مبوبكم نديف ما مزمر داويت هاي لي بو خو ني قبل كلو هاي استوعالكم مول كاب اف قول ان تبو زطبون مسكانا خداري اذا غتري يداليكم الله خلو ما انت كزارو بخلو زون قول ان تقصتات اصني عمو زمو واو كتبلوهم طراي دي كوني اتمال اختو ختقبل وداليكم الله خو حواتي بافوم مسكانا خو وصي كلو بافوم مال اختو خو وصي كلو كابت مزامورم انت يوصي كم زلو كابت تقصتات انت يوصي كم دلو خو تستو علو دالله خو باف قال ع اكس ابيهر يسرح انا بيد قول عت يدو ما بيرم صل اليوم لي تفوس كل غزي كاونتلس يو امنت كاب قول عت حطبي اتن وسطو من اختي بحق احواتي كتب قصو خلوكم كان غزاكم تاع انسيست خغبرا دي لي دلكو نقول لهم مهران وتي تقسي اصنعكم دوختو لهم كان لها هيب كاي يوم تقسي او لومي كم زو خينا نيرنا عدي كم زو سلازي غبرت فايبر كم زو سلازي بلتني اكسكيوز زلوهم كن غراكو مايكلني كل خا to blame parent natum responsibility i was doing him after all the kadam he wan and him blame the blame game ka undi jomiro they have to do it <laughs> they have to do it gin nihna ar aya kon konom ne dekna nuku hokt su kholo kira na church khat khadin kadikha qrib kadikha tsa kha asni ka yedi kha anta atbilis kan an gere ne gele tselay انتا بدنا سيريس لكن وسدو يغبا انا حواتي ازن يصاوتو لغزي ايكون انزي اتوم حيسكا متصوات انزي اتوم حيسكا مسرح قال اي مغباروم قليل ايكون انا حواتي اي غباني سم غزا ابي هرت مسكن ايكون اب هيسكيل اسرت شمونت اربعه زي اي لهود انه كل نفساتنا تاين كم تاع نفسيت ولادي كم اون نفسيت ولود ناتي يا تحاتي تتغبر نفسي بسا تتموت يا قليل لا يكون نفسنا اغزابير يدليا ايو نعي نفسي اغزابير يدليا ايو نفس دقيق اي يدليا ايو انا حاطيات غيرك حاطيات بكرستوس حرا وصي اي دقيق اه حاطيات تغبر نفسي موت كتموت يا زبلا دقيق دق دقيق دق بحاطياتك موتو ايدا اليوم اني بزي سيريس كوينا اتا حزا دقنا كن كن رئي سيريس كون كون ايدا الله غويتا يباركم اتنهبوم هومورك يكون نغهو كتسو خلو بليز تيشيرت تخدينوم جيم ناي جيم كدان تخدينوم ني تشيرت خموصو نحنا نمهروم علينا that's one way of the worship in line an muhram akada dena kha ni gazarsu hade kafta amlu khona amlakh in line an muhram kuma tsomo tsolo gin min taiz tkhadin kha khnum kone gin hgi na khun gobra malati tsin line an riya majara sham khnatu parents ni go tsi amsi nta ainet kidan khodon ni khollom natkum halafnet yu ba haqi ezum lakum dallo ho ti khobgus khollo ni churchi bgus khom zollo fali tom ku bgusu nta ku gobra khom dallo mamhar ناتكم يا حواتي ابنا يلملم من كلاس كم زي افقدنيو لا 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 ابنا كلاتنا كلاس كم افقدنيو ابنا يلملم تراي كلاس تراي كونن كامشام تخدينو كما صدرلو ابنا ابنا سوكف كلاس كاو تزي جميرو ما ابيوز مسكدو اكادادنو كم دلايم تخونو نعز تخدن تبلكم كم كتكلكلو اكزابير يحجسكم اي كالوني وي كا خمسه انا يلملم كا كنت تخدن واحد انت تخدينكم تمرت تخدوا تخدينكم اذا خال زروا اي اسم اغزابير تمسكنا يكون كنت قلينا حجي بدقنا احنا ما صينا كنت سمعوهم ادل الله بحقي اوكي ماكدي Okay. Okay, kids, please. Up, 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 up
Ano?
did good. You did good. Okay, Kevin, I'm laughing for That's good, Hamish. God loves them for sure. I'm on it. Salam, Kamek and your home, Kamia Fidkum. Hajik Sayom Zorbu, Sharshain, Shawain, Shamrain, the junior class. مسايز الله ما لتيو كم ذكرك إني كل تورحي فقرك زايبي هير نعي فقرك زايبي هير نعنا هاي مصر حموشة شد شو زقونو كابتم دكاي أغربهم بكم يرام لو ما عنت ما حلا في كل تورحي تشوف النايو في اللايكا فيز بليزين كارد زبر إمنت ناب رتعي ناب دحنت مع الطاول مع الطاول ما نحن 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 بخمي كاتستم هارنا يا تمرتي اب هيوتم بخمي كاتاغبرو ويوم بخمي تاغبرو الله بغوم ينكغرو لكم حد عينت كيتصبايو ولا بقى حد عينت تمرتي ني دارغا ني شومونتا سنابت انتخرنا كن اب زحلفا شومونتا سنابتي ازي بزح زقوني طيب حالنا قرينا شافينا لذا خاو سفراي ما ازن كتري ويوم نعدل نعاون قومي my name is Sina. In class, we have been learning about a life pleasing God with faith. What is faith? In Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and insurance in what we do not see. But how can we please God with faith? In Hebrews 11.6, it says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So faith is the only way to please God. We should try to please God because we live to praise him. In the Bible, Enoch was a very faithful person. He was so faithful on earth, it pleased God so much that Enoch left earth without dying. This just shows that faith is very important because it makes God very pleased. Also in Genesis 6, 1 to 22, we can also learn from Noah he had faith in God when he built his boat by faith. So we need faith and to please God in life without faith, we cannot please God in our lives. Hi guys, uh, in the last couple of weeks, we have been studying faith that pleases God. When you consider how to live a life that pleases God, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Most people respond with the usual answers, such as being kind to others, loving your neighbors, helping others, and etc. Although these are wonderful responses, the Bible says in Hebrews 11:6, For without faith it is impossible to please God. For those who come to him must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I want to focus on the first part of the verse. For without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Therefore, if we want to please God, we must place our complete trust and confidence in him no matter how we feel or no matter in what circumstances we are in. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 through 6 states, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. This verse not only stresses the importance of trusting God, but also stresses the utmost importance of having God as your number one priority. God should never be your fourth, third, or even second priority. He should always be your first. That is an aspect of faith putting God first, no matter your feelings or situation. Hebrews chapter 11 gives us multiple uh, examples of uh, how biblical figures please God through faith. That chapter is all about faith, and all of y'all should read it. Even Jesus pleased God through his faith. For example, in Hebrews 11.4, it says, By faith, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was approved as a righteous man 
because God approved his gifts. And even though he is dead, he still speaks through his faith. God-pleasing faith also leads to salvation. Paul clearly states in Ephesians 2 through 8, uh, 8 through 9 that faith is the only way to salvation. Now finally, I'm going to finish with 1 Corinthians 2 through 5. That your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. From the past weeks, we have been learning about life pleasing God. We also learned ways to please God like having faith. In Hebrews 11, 6, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that, he's the, that he exists and reward those who seek him. But the question is, how do we please God through faith? Well, there's ways to please God, like praying, reading the Bible, etc. But really, life pleasing God is not pressuring as it sounds. Let's talk a little bit more about faith. As we know about the verse, Hebrews 11:6, it's saying how the only way to please God is to have faith. For example, bad things happen in our lives, so how does faith heal us? Well, we have to trust in Him. We read the Bible and pray, and God will help us with our problems. No matter what situation you are in, faith helps us know that God is with us through all our troubles. That is why we pray to have communication with God, read the Bible to learn about Him and know Him, and worship to praise him. Faith is not just a wish, faith is not a feeling, and faith is not thinking that everything will be all right. In Hebrews 11:1, 1, it said, faith is not something we hope for, it is something that we do not see. Uh, hi, my name is Muscana, and in class we've been talking about life pleasing God and faith. First, what is faith? The definition of faith is having complete trust or confidence in someone or something. For example, when we sit down on a chair, we are having faith in the chair that it won't break. Faith in God is believing in God without having to see Him. We must have faith in God because in Hebrews 11:6, and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. This shows that the only way to make God happy is by having faith and earnestly seeking Him. The Greek translation of seek is walking with, so we must walk with God, meaning walking in the right path God has given us. This is the key to salvation. This is shown in Micah 6, 8, which says, He has shown you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justly, to love mercy, and walk, with hum walk humbly with your God. Also in Acts 16, 31, it says, So they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. True faith is believing God's word and acting upon it no matter what our lives, well, no matter what is going on in our lives. We also use true faith when we're going through things. It keeps us at peace, peace and helps us overcome the darkness of the world. It also gives us something to trust in and have hope in. Faith is not hoping something's just going to, uh, work out just fine. A lot of people think just because we have true faith means we'll get everything we ask for. That is not true faith. Just because we have true faith doesn't mean we'll get everything we ask for if we truly believe. God knows what is truly right for us and would never give us something that would separate us from Him. In Galatians 2.20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer who I live but Christ lives in me, in the life which I li now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. This shows that we must not live by flesh, and we must leave the flesh and live by faith. In conclusion, we must have a life pleasing God, because this is the only way to salvation. The key of this is to have faith. We have been learning about faith in a life pleasing God. Faith is believing in God's word and acting upon it no matter the situation because God promises a good result. Faith is a gift of God. It also is to have dependence in him. In 2 Corinthians 5, 7, it says, walk by faith, not by sight. It's basically saying that we keep praising and worshiping God through the hard times knowing he's still in control. Even though we don't see him, we still believe that God is alive in our hearts, working through our lives and protecting us. Also, in Hebrews 11, 1, it says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we don't see. It's talking about having confidence and hope in the promised word of God. Our faith is also the assurance we don't see, which is the Holy Spirit working in and through us. 
Now that I've told you what faith is, I'll tell you what faith is not. Faith is not a feeling. Feelings change, but faith never does. An example of faith in the Bible is Noah. He had faith in God even when things didn't make sense to him. So Noah did exactly as God commanded him. He built an ark, and even when the other people were looking at him weird and saying bad things about him, he didn't let that stop him, and he obeyed God. Another example is Daniel. He had faith in God and kept praying to him even though he knew he would be thrown in the lion's den and had faith and knew God was going to be with him and not let anything harm him. So if we have faith in God, we can overcome anything. We have been learning about faith for the past month in our class. Faith is having belief, trust, and loyalty to God. As said in Hebrews 11, verse 6, and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And in Hebrews 11, verse 1, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. An example of faith is Abraham, also known as the father of faith. Abraham had faith in God when he told him to leave everything behind and Abraham would follow him. He also had faith in and when he told him to sacrifice his son, when even though he waited for his son for so long. Another thing we have been learning about is pleasing God. Pleasing God is having faith in his word and in him. You cannot please God without having faith in him. In Romans 10 verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. In conclusion, as believers, faith is really important. What is our purpose in life? Our purpose in life is to glorify God. First, we need to understand the meaning of purpose. The definition of purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. In Colossians 1.16, it says, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. This verse talks about how everything was made to glorify God since he is the creator of all things. This is also shown in Isaiah 43, 7, which says, Everyone that is called in my name and whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. To glorify God means to honor God. The definition of honor is high respect or great esteem. So everything we do must honor him. This is shown in Corinthians 10, 31. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. In our lives, we need to make sure we are living the life of God's purpose for us. We do this by thinking to ourselves, are we at our standards, and what are our standards? We need to make sure we put God as our standard no matter what, because if we put people as our standard, we won't be exactly how God wants us to be. We'll be going based on other people. To glorify God, we need to please Him. The definition of please is to cause to feel happy and satisfied. The only way to please God is by faith. Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. In conclusion, we always need to remember what our purpose in life is, and we need to make sure we are having truth, faith, checking our standards, and glorifying him. This is how we live our life pleasing God. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so my topic today is about a life pleasing God. The expression, just have faith, it will work out, is used by many people to encourage or comfort someone facing serious problems or stressful situations. But just what is faith, as described in the Bible, and does it really work? The closest thing in the Bible from offering the exact definition is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the assurance of hope, the conviction of things that are not seen. From this particular uh, passage, we see that the central feature of faith is confidence or trust. In the Bible, the objective of the faith is his promises. An example of definition is found in Matthew 9, 27 to 30, where two blind men came to Jesus and asked him to heal them. Jesus first asked, do you believe that I'm able to do this? And the reply was, yes, Lord. They touched their eyes and according to faith, let there be with you and their eyes were opened. Some people think that having faith in God is giving you all they want, but no. True faith is believing in Him and that He will help us through hard times and knowing that He died for our sins. Having faith allows you to find peace in the presence of Lord and those saved with crushed spirits. Back up. In Isaiah 43, verse 7, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created with my glory, whom I have formed and made. Faith is one of the things that will please God. 
In Hebrews 11, 6, And without faith is it impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near God must believe that he exists and rewards those who seek him. An example was this by Noah, warned by God concerning the unseen of fear of the ark, or when Abraham obeyed God to go to an unknown place for him to receive his inheritance. All these examples are verses I talked about relies on two things, trust and faith. For we walk by God, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. This verse shows that without faith, you cannot be with God by just reading the Bible or going to church. It doesn't mean that you're accepted by God. You need to walk in the direction of God to please him and accept him as your savior. Thank you. That's all I have for y'all today. Amen. And I'm not. I'm gonna be talking about a life that pleases God. God has done so much for us. He sent His only Son down to this earth for us. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God sacrificed His Son for our sins, and we have to repay Him by living a life that pleases Him. That means praying, worshiping, and being kind towards others. When you speak to God, it pleases Him. So if you want to live a life pleasing God, you should pray more often. John 15, 12 says, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Being filled with love is a big thing God wants for us. He wants us to be nice towards others, be willing to help people out, and to be humble. Don't put yourself above others as if you are superior or on top. God wants us to know our priorities and be equal to one another. Living a life that pleases God will ensure us to heaven. So by sinning, we are going against God's word and what he wants, which won't guarantee us a spot. Lying is a very common sin to commit, whether it's about someone's outfit or about if you stole something. Leviticus 19.11 says, Do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another. God does not like associate with liars, so if you want to please him, you should stop lying and deceiving people. When you live a life that pleases God, you are also benefiting yourself. You, be, you will be loved by people, be able to make friends easily, and surround yourself with good people. You'll live happier and live peacefully, and you're helping yourself become more holy and respectful. Faith is a very important part in pleasing God. Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. In order to make it to heaven, faith is needed. What is faith? Faith is believing in something without seeing it. It is also believing in someone or something. That means whenever something goes wrong or not in your way, remember that God always has a reason for things. Trust him and he will guide you. I hope you learned a lot about, pleasing, about how to please God and you change your lifestyle to God's preference. This will help you become closer to God and get you to heaven. The only way to please God is through your faith. A verse that supports this is Hebrews 11, 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. What faith means is that you believe that someone or something will always be there for you. An example of faith can be sitting on a chair and having faith that will not break. You must have faith like this and dedicate your life to God and believe that he will support you. Faith helps believers do great things. Hebrews 11 lists many heroes of faith and tells what they are able to do because of their faith in God. Faith is the only way to, spouse, to salvation, so the only way to have a relationship with God is through God's word. Words to treasure in Galatians 2.20 are, Christ lives in me. The whole verse says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in, the body I live by faith in the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. The verse is saying that Jesus died on the cross and his flesh also died. He submitted himself to Jesus through his faith. First Corinthians 10 also says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. So what the verse is saying, any, absolutely anything you do should be for God. The first verse, Hebrews 11, 6 says, he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So if you believe and have faith that you will he will bless you for your faith. An example of this is Job. God let the devil test him because God knew that his faith was strong. After God blessed him with his wealth back several fold, another ten children living 140 more years. 
In conclusion, the only way to live a life that pleases God is through your faith. Hello, my name is Dawit. I'm going to talk in, I'm, today I'm going to talk about the word, why we were created by our God. Firstly, we learned about what the word produces. So it is stated in the beginning of the book of John, it is said that Jesus Christ is the word and the word is the Bible, for the Bible is our mighty sword. We have to master the sword and we have to study and meditate the word or Bible, for it is said in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, meditate the law day and night without departing from it and then there will be success. We need faith to understand and please God, but then comes two questions. What is faith? Faith is the standards that helps us to measure our life just because the Bible helps us shape our life through faith. And then the second question, why were we created by God? To answer this specific question, we have to go to Isaiah chapter 43 verse 7 where it is said, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, is whom I have formed and made. So God has created us to glorify him. The next thing we learned about was why do we have faith and read the Bible? So why do we follow God? Okay, so in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 and 17, it is said, Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gains understanding. And verse 17 tells us about his wisdom's ways. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, all her ways and paths of peace. And it is also to, said to us in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 to 34 and 35, what he's trying to say is, blessed are those who keep my word and listen to my instructions. So what this means is we have to read the Bible to be blessed. So I tell you all, don't let the word of God and his wisdom depart from you. For it is stated so in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, meditate the law day and night without departing from it and there will be success. For man does not live by bread and food, but by God's words. It is also said so in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4, God's word is what makes you live. So I tell everyone on this earth to read the Bible and believe and have faith in the Lord our God. Amen. Okay. That was an amazing word of God. You did great, guys. When I was done, shield of faith. Can you get into the stage? Shield of faith. Get into the stage, please. See, Atom can't take them to Luna and some Amina. Today my class, Shield of Faith, will be singing about God's beautiful love for all his children. There is a part to our song that says, um, like, translated to English, let all God's beautiful children come to me. And that's what the main, main idea of our song. So God bless y'all and thank you. Now please. Mesmo 
ቦቦ ኦየምበ ኮማ አይኮን መንገድ መንገድ ጻርቀንግና እግዚአብሔር ፈጣይ መንገድ ረሲያ ግን አጠፋ ስለዚህ ረሲያ አናፈዲ ሐጣውን አመንበላ ገጽቲ አይቀመጡኝ ስም እግዚአብሔር ተመስገን ይሁን መዝሙር ከዝሙርልና ኤም እት መዝሙር ናቶሚ ካብ ካለ ሰሚዑ ማይኮን እንድዝሙሩ እንጀሎ ሐዲሽ መዝሙር ናቶሚ ስለዚህ ከጽንዋ ፈትኑ ንሶም ከዝሙሩ ፈትኑ ትምርቶም ዞርሐ ጸሎት ዝብልዩ ጸሎትን ኮምፕሌይንን ሐደ አይኮነን ሐደ ሐደ ግዜ ከንጽልኸለና አታ ጎይታ እንታ ጌርካን ኢኻ እንታ ጌርካ ኤብዝብ ጽቂካን ዘለሃ ዘ ጸሎት አይኮነን ጎይታ ካብዚ አባው ጻን ለበጃሃ ጻ ጸሎት ያ ስለዚህ complain doesn't take you anywhere but prayer take you to your destination ንስኢና ተማሄርና ደለና እንታዩ አምላክ ካብ ዘጻአት ኢና ተማሄርና ወይታም ሶጾን ከመይ ከመዝዕረምሩ ምዝ ነበሩ ንስኻ እንዳዕረምረም ካኻ ንኻለኦትካ መንግስተ ሰማያት ከይወርሱ ትኽልክሎም ይኻ ከምታ ሙሲስ ትኸል ከላማነቲ ብሙግሮም ራም ላይ ካለኦት ስለዚህ ምግሮም ራም አብዘ ጻሐካ የብሉ ጸሎት ግን አብዱላይ ካይት ወካዩ ዝብሊና ተማሄርና ካው ተበጊሰም መዛሙር አለውም ስም እግዚአብሔር ተመስገነ ይሁን ኦኬ ሌትስ ጎ ትግረኛ ትግረኛ ፈርስ ኦኬ warm but at least we're not making bricks like we used to do in Egypt. No, I'm missing the nice stone houses we had back in Egypt. Those kept us cool. These tents we're living in are so hot. I feel like I'm baking. It is hot in the tents, but I like being outside anyways. I'm seeing so many new things that I've never seen in Egypt. There are new kinds of plants, different rocks, and lots of new types of animals. I love exploring. I hate these bugs out here. They bite, they buzz around my head, and the rocks are so boring. Once you see one, you see all of them. It don't get me started on those poisonous plants. I got a rash just the other day. I heard mom tell you not to touch that plant. She knew it was poisonous. Whatever. 
This desert is the worst. I don't even think Moses knows what he's doing. Moses talks to God. God used him to lead us out of Egypt, and he's done a good job. And why can't he not ask God to give us more variety in our food? It, the man is getting a bit boring. I'm talking to a man of cake, man of meal, man of muffins, man of cookies, man of bread. They all taste the same. The day we tried quail on man of pizza was too much. I may, I may never eat pizza again. Being out here is just horrible. Nathaniel, do you even hear what you're saying? We used to be slaves in Egypt, now we're free people. We used to be told what to do all the time, now we're free to explore. And God is bringing us to our very own land. We used to eat what was available in Egypt, but now the one true God rains down bread from heaven for us every single day. We've seen so many miracles, and God has provided all we need. It's amazing. Yeah, but... But what? Well, I suppose then you're right. It's easy for me to see what's going wrong and what's not fun about the desert. But God has done a lot for us because, I mean, most people don't even get to walk through the a dry land. Never get to walk through the sea on dry land. That was pretty fun. Exactly. Even when times are tough and there are things to complain about, we can always take the time to see the good to remember what God has done. Pastor, 